uh, we will do a grounding exercise so we can purify the circle. Other ways to do it is also just to grab a broom and sweep everything to the outside of the circle. This is the Wiccan tradition. Or to simply push everything out of the entrance. Uh, it's also very good to burn a little candle or another fire in the center of the circle to burn up all the energies which don't belong there. But first I'll just start with the grounding. So in the same way I can ground myself and connect myself with Mother Earth, I can also connect all the space within the circle with Mother Earth. So feel the Earth energy first within your own body. Feel the energy of the Earth surging up, coming into your body, going up along your spine. And then allow this Earth energy to flow out of you and into the circle so that it all becomes a big pool of earth energy you're surrounded by the earth just like you're in a cave the earth will then absorb all the other energies within the circle except your own all in a way fossilizing set in stone. Then you allow the earth energies to return to the earth, so both from your own body but also through your body from the circle, allow it all to flow out and empty the space. I've brought a little candle here to um, further purify and harmonize the space. Often I let the candle burn for about uh, half an hour, 20 minutes to create really a better purification and harmonization of the circle. Whenever you do something in a ritual space, it's also very much a sign or a symbol to the higher world. If you do something in the normal world, the energy is so, yeah, in a way, polluted, so foggy that it is not visible in higher worlds. By purifying the energy in the circle, it actually becomes possible for the higher worlds to see into this space and to see what people are doing there. So actions here are also visible in these higher realities. And by lighting a candle in this case, it is also a symbol, a sign of what I'm doing here and what I would like to yeah, happen here. So by lighting this candle, not much, not just creating a physical fire here, but I'm also inviting powers of light, powers of purity, of warmth, of care, to come into the circle. It's an invitation. Come here and share with us. And if all goes well, you should feel that the energy of the candle starts to fill the whole circle. You can have a really big circle with 20 people, still only requiring one candle to fill all the space, because the real fire, the real light, is not just coming from the physical candle, but it is actually coming from the higher worlds into your circle. And this is already a very purifying, a very healing effect you are creating. Put the lighter outside. Purify myself, 
allow myself to be cleansed before I enter the circle. So now that we have the appropriate energy within the circle, it becomes possible to have an invitation. It's a little bit similar to having guests. Like before you have guests, people tend to clean up the house and often make a little bit of tea and cookies for the guests. Uh, so this is also the proper time to make an offering for the powers you would like to be in this circle. And offering can be done by, for instance, making a little bit of food or putting some fruit here or uh, something else, but it is more also about the symbolic value than the real value of the things you are putting there. It is a sign that you are in a way a giving person, a respectful person, and thereby you are also saying I would like spirits of a similar nature to come to me, who are also giving, who are also respectful. So, in this case, I will go down and get a little bit of fruit.